the story about the kidnappers. Keeper was sad because the magic key would not glow. He looked at the key for a long time and at last he fell asleep. Suddenly, the key glowed and the magic began to work. Keeper's toys were coming to life. Teddy gave Keeper a shake. Wake up! The magic key is glowing! The magic is working! Keeper sat up and rubbed his eyes. He looked at his toys. Come on, Keeper, said Casimir. Hurry up! It's time for a magic adventure! The toys ran to the little house. Hurry up, Keeper! Be quick or it'll be too late! Keeper could feel the magic working. It pulled him inside the magic house. The magic whizzed Keeper round and round. Oh, help! I feel different! This is a different sort of magic! cried Keeper. The magic took them to a yard. It was a very busy yard. Kasmi was excited. Maybe we can catch a plane. Maybe we can have an exciting adventure. There were bears everywhere. They were going to Switzerland. They are going to the teddy bear's picnic, said Teddy. They have one every year. Maybe we can go too, said Bunbury. Keeper was not sure. How can we? he asked. Of course we can go, said Teddy. This is a magic adventure. Keeper and his friends went on the airplane to Switzerland. They flew over lakes and mountains. What a beautiful place for a picnic, said Keeper. When the plane landed, everyone got off. There were lots and lots of bears. Keeper had never seen so many bears before. They had come from all around the world. It's going to be a big picnic, said Keeper. There was a bus at the airport. It was going to the teddy bear's picnic. Come on, said Kashmir. If we run, we can catch this bus. Keeper liked Switzerland. It was beautiful there. It was fun on top of the bus. The bears waved at everyone and everyone waved back. At last, the bus arrived. Everyone got off. I've never seen so many bears before, said Keeper. We'd better stay together in case we get lost. Keeper and his friends found a good place to sit. Suddenly, everyone shouted and cheered. A famous bear had come to the stage. He waved at the crowd. Welcome to the teddy bear's picnic. I know him, said Keeper. He's a very famous bear indeed. I've read all his books. Another famous bear came to the stage. He began to tell jokes and sing funny songs. Everyone laughed and cheered. I know that famous bear too, said Kipper. I've seen him on TV. A famous pop group came on the stage. They played while the bears had their picnic. This is the best picnic I've ever been to, said Kipper. Kipper had an autograph book. He wanted some of the famous bears to sign their names. I can show them to Biff and Chip, said Keeper. They'll know I've had a magic adventure. They went to find the famous bears, but there was trouble. Some nasty bears were pushing the famous bears into the car. It's a kidnap, said Barnsbury. We must do something. The car sped away. Casimir saw a van. Come on, get in. We can follow the kidnappers in this van. Casimir drove the van as fast as he could. The car went even faster. It drove up a mountain road. Faster, faster, called Bunbury. Don't lose them, said Teddy. The car drove through some big gates and stopped in front of a house. The famous bears were pushed outside. It looks dangerous, said Keeper, but we must rescue them. I have a plan. Keeper and Casimir went into the house. Keeper rang the bell. 
some nasty bears came to the door. Free honey, said Kipper. Free honey for every bear. The nasty bears were greedy and they couldn't resist the honey. They didn't see what Teddy and Barnbury were doing. Teddy went to the car and took out the keys. Barnbury went to the back of the house and looked through the window. He saw the famous bears. They were all tied up. Barnbury set the famous bears free. Then they all climbed out of the window. Come on! Come on, follow me! And don't make a sound! The famous bears crept into the honey van. The nasty bears didn't see them because they were too busy eating honey. One of the nasty bears saw the famous bears were escaping. They're in the honey van! Go after it! Kashmir drove the honey van as fast as he could. The nasty bears ran after the van but they got stuck in the honey. Hooray! shouted Kipper. The famous bears were pleased with Kipper and his friends. You were very clever. Thanks to you, the teddy bear's picnic can go on. The magic key began to glow. It was time for Kipper's adventure to end. I can't wait to tell Biff and Chip about this. The magic key glowed last night, said Kipper. I had a magic adventure. We don't believe you, said Biff. No, it was just a dream said Chip. Have you ever had a magic adventure before? Tell us about your magic adventure in the comments and do stay tuned in for the next one. The end.